this thing turned out pretty nice. I got everything ready to go, or at least the LMTV fairies did. Let's see what the trailer looks like. Let's just see what the LMTV fairies did to the trailer. What? Nice, it's all painted. What's that? Hey. Wow. All right. I had to remove this so I could get some measurements to see really what I'm up against here. I got these uh, billet aluminum. <laughs> it ain't billet aluminum. <laughs> it's just a block of wood. I've got like 15 coats of paint on this. But uh, this little block <laughs> goes up in here, slides on very carefully. Well, as you can see, that's a pretty tight fit, which is a good thing because it's going to be even tighter once I start uh, tightening up this bolt. Nice. bad boy up. We'll be good. So this is, these two actually are the lines that uh, feed both of those uh, brake relays. And they should have equal pressure because they're in the same T there. I think, uh, I think this one is going to be uh, hooked up to the pressure regulator and then this one will be hooked up to the supply from the truck. Um, I still got to tighten these up and make sure that they're where I want them. I know this is facing down. It probably needs to be facing up. But uh, making some progress. All right, so this brings us to this little regulator here. Now this regulator, a couple of little things about it. I'm going to set it at 75 PSI. One of the things that you don't want to do when putting these on is tighten them all the way with this. You actually want to put a wrench onto this so you don't break the gauge. Um, the other thing is, is this is meant to be placed like this. <laughs> okay, horizontal, not really vertical horizontal. It will work this way, but it's meant for this way. Okay, next thing I want to point out is that this part is a half inch inside diameter to half inch male um, uh, pipe thread. 
So pipe thread in here, compression fitting, half inch inside diameter here. This is what uh, all of these lines, especially the big fat ones, uh, that's what they work on, okay? Hey, there's another thing I forgot to mention. You don't actually have to run one of these. I mean, if you're doing something like I'm doing here, which is a complete one-off, I get it. But if you want to run Cetus to your rear tires, um, you'll actually have to add another glad hand that just runs that uh, Cetus to the rear tires. Or you can do it this way, which um, is kind of like the manual way. I'm just gonna set this guy up here for 75 PSI and it's gonna run constant pressure back to those, uh, those tires at 75 PSI. Need to catch up on this build. All I did is drill these two holes out. This was an existing hole. And if you look right up there, you can just see the bracket that is gonna hold this guy. And I kind of put it really cool so, hey, guess what? I'm gonna be able to read the gauge from this little hole here. What? Well, it seems like I've run into a little snag. Um, this is just above where I put the tank in. And I thought this was a line that went just straight back, but apparently it went into this splitter. Um, I need to have this as a direct line. So I need to come up with basically a connection here to connect these two lines instead of splitting it off. So another little problem right there, nothing I can handle. Instead of trying to find a splice to splice that together, I actually found a longer uh, hose that I'm not going to be needing. So I just repurposed it and I'm gonna use this longer hose. I think this is gonna work out a lot better than to have some kind of uh, leak point in between and trying to find another brass fitting for eight, nine bucks a piece, which is completely ridiculous. So just using what I got, this is gonna work just fine. I believe I have it set up. I think that everything is in place now for at least the initial test. Keeping my fingers crossed. Hopefully I got everything right. Just not gonna know until for sure anyway, until I fire things up. Here's the deal, unbeknownst to me, but now knownst to me, thanks to Matt Mullenhaus, that you have to push this in first in order to get anything to go back to the trailer because there is an airline in between here which does not allow air to go in as long as the parking brake is on. Got it? Thanks, Matt. Well, I've about run out of time on this episode. I still have to uncage the brakes, put these things up on jack stands so that when I test the brakes, maybe I can spin this wheel and see if the wheel actually stops the other side as well to make sure everything is, is operating properly. But I'm gonna save that for next time. Until then, you guys be safe and God bless.